Hey folks, welcome back. This is Chris, you're watching Chris Outdoors, and this is another Dartmoor wild camping trip. This time, staying near Meldon Reservoir. Starting in Exmouth, and riding to Oakhampton, and joining the Granite Way. From Exmouth, I head along the X Trail, past Limpstone and Topsham, and into Exeter. I then take the Tedburn Road, towards Pathfinder Village through Tedburn, St Mary and Cheriton Bishop and then on to Widden Down I decided to head to South Zeal and Sticklepath and Bellstone going off the route as there is an area there that I wanted to explore. From Bellstone I rejoined my planned route towards Oakhampton and then onto the Granite Way and then made my way to Meldon Reservoir. I checked the Dartmoor Wild Camping Map and it looks like you can camp almost anywhere along the eastern side of Meldon Reservoir. The route from Exmouth to Meldon Reservoir was 38 miles and took me five hours. Here is the small detour that I had planned. After riding through Sticklepath, I enter Skay Woods. Following the Tarka Trail, heading for Bellstone Cleave. On the Dartmoor Wild Camping Map, Bellstone Cleave is highlighted as a wild camping spot and I wanted to go and check it out. There were plenty of nice spots along the banks of the River Tor to pitch a tent or hang a hammock. The walks around the area were very nice and not very far away from Bellstone and the pub. Yeah, the pub that I just rode on by. I had to get a move on, get to Oakhampton. But first, I had to get out of the cleave, which meant a short hiker bike up through the valley, over the village green, through the village and on to Oakhampton.
I rode along the southeastern side of the reservoir, hoping to find somewhere to camp. The area was steep and rocky, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. And the only flat spots were the picnic areas or the footpaths. I turned around, headed west up Longstone Hill, hoping to find somewhere to camp up along the hill. I didn't find any spots on the hill that overlooked Meldon Reservoir, so I headed north, back down the hill, towards the quarry area that I had seen on the Dartmoor Wild camping map. on the corner this time. I've got my tent in the back. This is just a regular seat pack. Uh, to secure it better to the bike, it's on the rack. I simply turned it upside down. These are the seat clips here and the seat post strap here. Just flipped it over, pack it this way. It can take a little bit more weight, doesn't flap around as much. And here I've got all my odds and ends. The food, tools, in the front the sleeping bag, a spare change of clothes waterproofs if I need them. Back on Dartmoor again for another wild camp, this time at Meldon Reservoir. As you can see it's pretty steep, there's not many flat spots to camp and any flat spots are quite exposed. So I've come around to this side of the reservoir and there's some old quarry workings, a couple of nice sheltered flat spots. Over here we have Meldon Viaduct, Car park from Meldon's back that way, and the Granite Way runs along there. 37 mile trip today. The gradients aren't too bad, it's not as bad as coming up over uh, Bobby Tracy. It's nice and mellow. It took me about five and a half hours to get here. Camps just up here. Not the best spot in the world. It's flat, it's very rocky. I had to hammer the pegs in really hard. But it's up, a bit flappy, but it's up. Usual food this time, lemon and coriander couscous, 170ml of water. Some good carbs in there.
have a look at this place. Camped up there. This is Red Aven Brook, which runs into the West Oakmont River. It begins at High Wilhays and runs down between Yes Tor and West Mill Tor. There are some great camping spots alongside the brook, if you don't mind the sound of running water all night. Along the brook there are some nice waterfalls and a few plunge pools if you fancy a dip on a hot summer's day. Morning folks, had a really good sleep last night, had my first coffee already, sun's almost up over the ridge, so yeah, I'm going to get packed up, get all my kit squared away and get on the road again. Sun's baking through now. Beautiful morning. Melden viaduct over there. Camp all squared away.
Perhaps last night, right over there. So I'm stopping here for breakfast. I'm just gonna have one of these raspberry crumble bars. Uh, we've got a couple of chocolate biscuits left, a cup of tea. Thanks for watching this episode of Chris Outdoors. This trip was better than I expected. Redder Venn Brook and Bellstone Cleave turned out to be a couple of wild camp spots I'd definitely recommend. My camp at Meldon was also great. Please leave a comment, like or subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.